this is uh, Sunday morning, leaving Bournemouth over the famous uh, fortified and gated bridge, which apparently is a historical phenomenon. So, nice view down the river, and uh, today's stretch is a 17 miler ending up in Pandy. This bit's interesting now. I've just literally started walking out of uh, Monmouth town down this little track called uh, Watery Lane. And then the guidebook it says this is the last uh, encounter with suburbia until I get to Prestatin <laughs> in 11 days' time, which is unbelievable, really. I mean, I will drop off the route in Langothlin just because that's where my accommodation is but if that wasn't the case you could actually walk for 11 days 160 miles in a mixture of England and Wales and not encounter suburbia it's unbelievable no it's, I'm, it's an adventure this is going to be and I'm, you know I'm getting ready to go out into the countryside now and uh, join later so I've uh, been walking a couple of hours now and I'm just uh, coming down into this little uh, uh, channel through the, through the trees and coming across what the book says is the first of quite a lot of both apple and pear orchards. So basically cider country. There you go, look what it says on the sign there. Don't let them foul the orchard area. So, look at that, absolutely beautiful. So what we've got here is another landmark on day two, heading towards Pandy. This is a castle called White Castle. Uh, as you can see, it's a bit broken down, but there's uh, plenty to see. I'm going to have a wander around. Here's the uh, Diagram showing the, the castle which was built to uh, one of the three castles it says to Face the hill country controlled by the Welsh lords and needed to be ready for action What you can see here is the what would have been the moat a bit overgrown with rushes now and there's the actual castle itself with like a bridge going across and this bit on my right here is where the ordinary people would have lived, I guess, according to the diagram. So, uh, fascinating. Bit of English-Welsh history, isn't it? So this is just walking across what would have probably been some form of drawbridge in the Port Collis Gate. You can probably just see the slots up there where the, the gates would have fallen down to uh, bar entry. Inside of the castle. So, after about five hours walking today, I'm approaching Pandy, which I think you can probably just about make out down there in the in the valley. There, more impressively, there you've got the Black Mountains, which are a lovely sort of uh, backdrop. But uh, that's the heading for today. And uh, so far so good, no injuries or anything and uh, the weather's been kind to me for two days on the bounce now. The good train going through in the background there. So uh, I've got about a kilometre to go and I'll be down safe after day two. That'll be about the best part of 35 miles of the 177 complete, which is good. See you later. Last post for today, I, I think that's where I'm staying down there in those little buildings at the bottom, you know, you can see by the road. <laughs> but I've just looked in the guidebook and uh, that is tomorrow's first mountain, so that's going to be fun.